Hello and welcome to Option Learning Series by Sensible. In this series, we are learning options in depth. After watching this series, you will be able to see options like professional seat. So, let's continue our journey of exploring options. In the last few videos, we have learned what effects option prices. So far, we have seen the effect of following stock price, strike price and time. In this episode, we will discuss volatility in detail. So, let's begin. We have one last thing left, volatility. This is one of the most important and least understood concept of options trading. Volatility is the measure of how much a stock moves up or down. The higher the movement, the more the volatility. In this video, we will discuss what is volatility, how does volatility affect option prices, when does volatility go up and down, historic volatility and implied volatility, and finally some do's and don'ts. Let's discuss the scenario number one. Let us go back to SBI. SBI is trading at 500 rupees. The market is very peaceful. Every day SBI is moving less than half a percent up or down. No big movements is happening. And the stock stuck in a tight range. I come to you and ask you to sell me SBI 500 monthly call option you know that there is not much of a movement expected. So you will sell it to me at 10 rupees. The same applies for the put option. If you think the stock won't move down much, you will sell a put option of 500 strike at the same 10 rupees. Scenario number two, SBI is at 500. The market is violent. Every day SBI is gapping up or down by one or 2%. SBI moved 10% in the last 3 days. It can fall big or bounce big. I come to you and ask you to sell me SBI 500 strike monthly call option. But you know that SBI can move in any direction. The risk is high. If you sell the call and SBI moves down, you will make only the limited premium. But if SBI moves up, you can lose a lot of money. This is a scary situation to sell a call option. You will probably charge me 20 rupees in this scenario to compensate you for the risk you are taking. The same applies for the put option. The stock can fall big. So if you sell a put option, you will lose a lot of money. Therefore, you will charge me a high premium if you are selling a put option. Scenario number 3. SBI is at 500. The finance minister is going to announce something about the PSU banks. No one knows if it is good or bad. But everyone thinks this might be big. The stock is not moving. Because everyone is waiting for the announcement to trade. I come to you and ask you to sell me an SBI 500 strike monthly call option. But you know the news can move SBI violently in any direction. The risks are super high. If you sell the call and SBI moves down, you will make only the limited premium. But if SBI moves up big, you can lose a lot of money. This is a scary situation to sell and call option. You will probably charge me 30 rupees in this situation. The same applies to the put option. The stock can fall big. So, if you sell a put option, you will lose a lot of money. Therefore, you will charge me a high premium if you are selling a put option. Look at the three situations above. They are all identical in stock price, strike price and time to expiry. And yet, the option prices are different. What changed? The answer is the option seller's perception of risk. The option seller will charge a higher premium when there is a high chance of big movement against the seller. Think of it like this. 
इंश्योरेंस कंपनीज चार्ज अ हाइयर प्रीमियम फॉर स्मोकर्स देन फॉर नॉन स्मोकर्स ऑफ सेम एज वाई बिकॉज द चांस ऑफ स्मोकर फॉलोइंग सिक एंड द इंश्योरेंस कंपनी हैविंग टू पे बिल्स आर हायर सो इफ यू आर अ स्मोकर नेवर टू लेट टू क्विट स्मोकिंग यू कैन सी इन दिस इमेज दैट इन ब्लैक शोज फॉर्मूला इफ यू पुट स्ट्राइक प्राइस स्टॉक प्राइस एंड टाइम सेम बट पुट थ्री डिफरेंट आईवीज you will get three different option prices the perception of risk in the market is referred as implied volatility popularly known as iv the higher the risk the higher the implied volatility and higher the option prices it is called implied volatility because the volatility is implied in the option prices by this i mean the implied volatility is calculated from the option price another way to look at iv is that it is the market's expectation of future volatility or movement in the stock implied volatility affects call and put option in the same manner higher iv means higher call prices and higher put prices iv is usually represented as the percentage value you can see implied volatility in sensible option platform in the option chain like this and in the screener you can see all the ivs of fno stocks like this some typical example of ivr for usd inr iv is this nifty iv is this sbi iv is this and for idea iv is this note that iv is low for low movement underlines and iv is high for high movement underlines now the question comes when is iv high and when is iv low iv is high when there is a fear unpredictability or uncertainty in the stock this usually happens when the stock is falling especially in gap downs usually before big events like monetary policies fm announcements budgets stock results etc and when the stock is moving up and down quickly iv is low when there is low fear or there is predictability in the market which happens when the stock is not moving much when the stock is rising steadily when there is no events one important point to note here iv decreases right after the event is over let's see one practical example many people buy put options when a stock has already fallen or in high fear situations like gap down openings this can get really ugly why the iv will be high making the option price really high even if they get the direction right and there is a further fall the break even will be far because of the high option prices if they get the direction wrong and the stock bounces up they will lose money on the direction and from the fall of iv both after all this gyan you will ask this question how much iv is high iv and how much is the low iv there is no easy answer to this and this is little complicated we will come to this in the future episodes now let's see what is the difference between historical volatility and implied volatility historical volatility is the measure of past movement in a stock that has actually happened implied volatility is the market's expectation of future movements in a stock as calculated from its option prices Now let's see some takeaways from this chapter. Number one, IV measures fear or unpredictability in the stock. Higher the IV, higher the fear or unpredictability. Number two, option prices are high when IV is high. Option prices are low when IV is low. Number three, avoid buying option when IV is high. when iv decreases option prices can fall drastically causing losses and you can see rise in iv during events that is results or announcements and during time of high movement 
that's it for this episode in the next episode we will see the pros and cons of option sellers and option buyers till then take care and we wish you safe and happy trading with sensible bye bye